I remember at certain intervals of my youth that there would be this thing that my peers and I would all be interested in, and then all of a sudden it would become obsolete, and in such dramatic fashion that if you didn't quickly catch up and also denounce that thing that everybody was now too mature for, then you yourself would become the object of that same contempt. It could have been a toy we all liked, or a movie, or a genre of music, but whatever it was, once those early adopters had decided that we're too old for that kind of thing, you had this narrow window of opportunity to jump on that bandwagon before you got left behind. And that's because up until the time you were considered properly grown up and living a life of adult responsibility, you're in this massive hurry to acquire more respect, especially self-respect. I vividly remember crossing this threshold when I was younger, where I decided I was too old for animated Disney movies, even though I secretly enjoyed being forced to watch them with younger siblings or cousins. Like for as long as they've been aware of it, my oldest daughters have been in love with the movie Frozen. We have so many frozen emblazoned items in our house that you would think that we were preparing for a post-apocalyptic world in which frozen memorabilia is the only acceptable currency of trade. And suddenly about a week ago, my oldest daughter announces to me that she and her oldest cousin no longer like the movie Frozen. And it's not because they actually don't like it, it's just because of some adolescent epiphany in which they've decided they're too old or too mature for it. And so now she's become someone who wouldn't be caught dead watching that movie, and in the meantime, I'm the one who has to use the Frozen branded electric toothbrush so that it doesn't go to waste. We hate being left behind the herd, and we hate being perceived as being too fragile to graduate into a more sophisticated strata of culture and maturity. And I think that something like this is what happens to the faith that so many people inherit as children, but struggle to retain as they transition into adulthood. And this is a point that my friend Hudson made in conversation recently. When we're little, we're taught a version of Christianity that is fit for bedtime stories. Something simple, easy to understand, often heretical, but comforting. We paint this portrait of God and Jesus that has more in common with the tooth fairy or Santa Claus than it does with the incarnation of truth, goodness, and beauty. And when I listen to pop atheist thinkers compare God to the flying spaghetti monster or say that we worship an old man in the clouds, I'm reminded that they're not really confronting the God of Thomas Aquinas or C.S. Lewis. They're denouncing a straw man Sunday school version of God. And this is the risk we run when we blur the lines between Disney, the Tooth Fairy, and Jesus, when our kids are learning about their Christian heritage in a way that reduces it or trivializes it to that level of sophistication. When we make Christianity childish for the sake of children, we run the risk that they will end up discarding it like all the other things that they've discarded that were childish as they grow older and become more mature. Now, I'm not saying we can't have Sunday school or a presentation of Christianity that's more suited to the minds of kids. But what I am saying is that we shouldn't compromise it or water it down as if that's helping kids. When I was a kid, I had a children's illustrated Bible, but it had something that most of the books I see on my kids' shelf didn't have. It had an illustration of the crucifixion that didn't really shy away from the subject matter of what that, that scene actually depicts. And I remember as a kid just staring at that picture, trying to understand what it meant. I remember thinking, this is different. This isn't the same as the Easter Bunny. This is mature, this is chilling, this is important. This isn't something that is trivial, and it's not something that I think I will ever outgrow, whatever it means. St. Paul said, we preach Christ crucified. And I think it's important that something of that quality is retained in the way that we hand on our faith to our children. It shouldn't be watered down just because we think it's troubling. They can handle it, and after all, it's an essential part of the gospel. The other thing that I think we need to do as a church and as parents is to make sure that when they are ready, that our kids encounter a mature presentation of the faith. They need to discover the faith of C.S. Lewis and G.K. Chesterton, of Pascal and Aquinas, of William of Ockham and Augustine. And if you feel inadequate in transmitting that caliber of understanding, then it's time to grow up in your own faith. You can't ride the crest of Sunday school formation your entire life. At some point, you need to go deeper. As our kids grow into adulthood, they're going to face opposition to their faith. And that's probably a good thing. But if that's the first time they encounter a sophisticated treatment of the subject matter, and it's exclusively atheistic in its conclusions, then their juvenile faith is not going to survive that experience. 
They need to have inherited something with some meat on it, and it's up to us to make sure that that happens. Thanks so much for watching, guys. If you enjoyed that, then please consider subscribing and liking, and come find me on Facebook and Twitter. It's a huge help when you do that. It helps us get these videos in front of more and more people. And a big thank you goes out to you, Catholic, for presenting these videos. And if you want to support the making of these videos, then please consider supporting my work as a digital media and marketing expert. My company, Holdsworth Design, specializes in branding, web and graphic design, marketing, social media, videography, and all that kind of good stuff. So if you know of a parish, a diocese, a ministry, or a business that needs help in those areas, then please send them our way and I'm sure we can help them out.